Salifu Degati was born in July 1931 and died on 2 January 1964. He was a British-trained Ghanaian police officer and presidential bodyguard who shielded Kwame Nkrumah, with his body on the fifth attempt to assassinate him since he came to power in 1957. At about 1.15pm on Thursday January 2, President Nkrumah of Ghana left his office at Flagstaff House to return to Christianborg Castle for lunch. As he moved towards his car, across the courtyard, he was accompanied by two security guards, one Sally Fudigati, a veteran British-trained police professional, the other an amateur provided by the president's own party, CPP. A rifle shot rang out. It had been fired from behind some sort of cover, perhaps about 50 yards away, by Constable Amathiwi, one of the policemen on guard at Flagstaff House who had been transferred for duty there only a day or two previously. The driver of the president's car immediately disappeared. The CPP security guard hid for his life behind the car. The president and Salifu dived for cover. A police constable on guard outside the residence of Ghana's president, Kwame Nkrumah, fired five gunshots at him in an assassination attempt. Setha Metwi invaded the Flagstaff house in Accra and missed with his first shot. Nkrumah's bodyguard, Salifu Degati, shielded the president with his body and was mortally wounded. Two more shots were fired. One or both of them ripped through the president's shirt but were apparently deflected by his bulletproof vest. Constable Amathiwi then attempted to fire his fifth and last round but the bullet was accidentally ejected. The president, perhaps seeing what had happened, got up and ran. The distance he covered was considerable, and, as he ran, he shouted for help. A number of armed policemen apparently watched with interest to see how the incident would end but did not move. Senior officials similarly watched from the windows of nearby offices, one of them confining himself to the single comment, they've bungled it Argon. As the president approached the kitchen of Flagstaff House, the constable caught up with him and tried to club him with his rifle butt, but the rifle slipped from his hands. Inside the kitchen, the president and the constable finally got to grip. The constable bit the president's cheek. The president kicked the constable in the groin and the latter momentarily collapsed. At that stage, other policemen arrived on the scene and decided the time had come to intervene. Constable Amathiwi was quickly knocked out and left lying on the ground. The president, having changed his shirt and had his cheek dressed by a Russian doctor, had his photograph taken crouching over his assailant, as he might have done had he just overpowered him. He then left for the castle.